everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. I apologize in advance if I put my hand up or something and you think it's like filthy. I just ate a Star Crunch, one of those little Debbie things with the chocolate and the little Krispies and stuff. So I realized there's a little bit on my thumb and I didn't want people to be like, oh, your hands are so nasty. <laughs> anyway, um, this has been recommended quite a few times. I haven't listened to this song yet, so let's check it out. <laughs> it up because I didn't know I was about to get smacked in the earlobes with <laughs> I like it I just wasn't expecting it to come in that hard that fast okay Rhythm guitar. I mean, I like the front guitar. That, that's awesome. It's like makes me think of the Scorpions. I'm sure they're more close, closer, more similar sounding songs and artists. I don't know, but that rhythm guitar. It's like dun 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 or something like that. It's it. I, I was trying to hear it behind the like, but I really like the combination of those. Both of them are awesome. Um, the combination is awesome as well. Wow, I paused really soon. Sorry. and I'm about to be really, I like the way that's going. I really like the way that's going. This music is sick. I don't, I don't know what people use now. Lit. Um, the music is so good. The lyrics are, are like, well, what I would call like screamo. I don't know what they're actually supposed to be called when somebody screams like that. And I don't listen to music that has that much screaming like throughout the song, but it's good. It's what he's doing. His voice sounds great for that style, definitely. Um, but the music right now is my favorite it is awesome, and the way that just kind of slowed down and started to go into like, like a gritty. I don't know. I don't know. I need some. I need some words for music. I'm gonna find a like a music thesaurus or dictionary with lots of adjectives to describe things. Anyway. <laughs> listen to that whatever that's called that riff or that combination of instruments I could listen to that for like hours on end without any lyrics or any changes because that is that that was pretty great <laughs> this definitely reminds me of Pantera because I can hear him over here with one vocal style or note or whatever it is and then I also hear him over here and I'm pretty sure it's two separate tracks because it sounds like his voice is different and the backing guitar yeah I don't I haven't heard everything from Pantera but this definitely reminds me of it in a very good way like I like it a lot That guitar, 
Na, 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 what is that called? In my head, I call it a stair step, but I don't know if that's what it's actually called. This music is so good. I think my husband will actually like this because he's a big Pantera fan. Uh, I'm going to stop comparing this to Pantera because I'm sure by now a few of you have gotten irritated at me. But it's a good thing. Like, it, this sounds good. Um, yeah, I can't remember what else. I hear my children. I'm sorry if you hear my children. it up because it was a uh, I don't have a word I just that was awesome <laughs> song it's like five songs in one there have been so many different types of like melodies or rhythms so many change-ups Avenged Sevenfold is really good about that about like they'll give you one melody or type and then they'll flip it over on you and completely change it and it feels like you're in a completely different song and then might even go to something else and it's just like I don't know I I'm not gonna lie I don't know what's going on with the lyrics and the context of it right now y'all can are more than welcome to let me know in the comments because I definitely am more kind of distracted by the music and I don't have like I'm not able to process the words and think deeply in them but this music is great and I love the way that it keeps changing up and keeping it exciting you know what I mean But I love that line. I'm gonna pause and just say the last like minute of this song is one of my favorite things ever. And I've also the because of that, that, those two guitars just then they were so awesome that ding 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 and then that like back rhythm guitar. Or whatever that more gritty stuff, and then he said, "Take these chains that are holding me down," or something like that. Um, one of my favorite songs by my favorite artist. There's a like the choruses and stuff. They're good, but my favorite, favorite, favorite thing from the song is the breakdown. And there's just certain components that give you this specific kind of feeling and they put you in a certain place emotionally mentally however and I feel like this song has that in more places than one which hopefully that makes sense <laughs>
all good things must come to an end. I think that song is either my favorite or definitely in the top. That was fantastic. The music was almost on the level of masterpiece, or maybe it was. I don't. I don't know. I just know that. There were so many different things in there that were amazing. And then there were different things that were combined, like several times the lead guitar and rhythm guitar that were both excellent on their own were paired together. And they wouldn't be something you would expect to be paired together because of the way they were. But when they were paired together, it made it amazing. And I like, the only lyric I really caught was, take these chains that hold me down or something like that. Um, so I want to listen to this again so I can catch more of the lyrics and understand more about it. But this was fantastic. Fantastic. I know I paused a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I can't wait to listen to that again. So thank you very much for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.